Hey guys, welcome back. Well, in today's video, we're gonna address a question that I get all the time. How to create a braided rope, okay? I'm not talking about twisted rope, what I did in previous videos, but actual braids, like, uh, you know, ponytail and hair, you know, for people that have hair, right? So that said, let's uh, jump in and I'll show you how to do that. Here we go. All right, guys, we're in uh, my 2018, let's get started. So uh, I get a, a lot of questions about braids, how to model them because people want to model hair or nylon rope or whatnot. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? So let's uh, jump in. We're gonna jump into our front view. We're gonna uh, focus on the center of the grid right here. So we're gonna move this down a little bit and we're gonna go up to uh, create. We're gonna go to uh, curve tools and select the EP curve tool. Hit the option box. I'm just gonna reset that tool so we're all on the same page here. And make sure you got snap to grid turned on, okay? So that little magnet up there. So once I click, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to the right one unit and then one, two, three up right there. I'm gonna go three straight up and then again, one, two, three up and one to the left, which will give me a curve like this. I'm gonna go to the left one, one, two, three up, three straight up three up and one to the right, which will give me another curve. One more time to the right, three straight up. And there you go. And there you go. So once you do that, you hit enter, it will get something like this, okay? So that's gonna be our starting point. Now, what we need to do is we need to uh, go in and uh, tweak those uh, vertices, okay? So let's uh, jump back to our front view and I'm gonna right click and go to control vertex. Now we're gonna select uh, the vertex that's fairly high up on that curve. We're gonna select this one and we're gonna select this one. And then we're gonna jump to our side view and we still got snap to grid turned on. So I'm gonna hit W to move that and we're gonna jump to the left, okay? And now we got approximately two and a little bit unit in that band there, okay? Then we're gonna jump back and we're gonna select the vertices that are just below. So we got this one, this one, and this one. And this time we're gonna jump back and we're gonna move to the right. So let's see, we got two and a little bit, there you go. So now that we have that, we'll get something that looks a little bit odd, if, especially if you look at it from the top here. And with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to uh, Create, NURBS Primitives, and we're gonna take a circle. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude that circle, but we want to kind of check the diameter. So we're gonna hit R to scale it up a little bit, and we can actually hit W and move it here. We can turn that snapping off so that's what I want to do. I got this guy selected. I'm going to shift select this guy. We're going to go to surfaces. Make sure you're in the modeling menu. Surfaces, we're going to go to extrude. Hit the option box. We'll do edit and reset. Now I want to extrude at the path that I created and I want component. And let's hit apply. And as we do that, you can see that this is the guy that we have. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's what we're going to work with. So I'm gonna close this guy up. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna turn this into a polygon object instead of a nerves object, okay? So I'm gonna go up to modify. We're gonna go to convert, convert nerves to polygons. Hit the option box. I'm gonna go to edit and reset settings. What I want is quads, not triangles, and I want this on count. And then I'm gonna go in and hit apply. Now, as I do that, I'll close this out and open up my outliner. You'll see that I now have a polygon object and I have a NURBS extrude object. Now, that's the one I wanna get rid of, so we're gonna delete that. And now I can take this guy as well, and this guy as well, and I can take this and push that back to the center. Okay. All right, so time to create our braid. So we're gonna jump back in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my front view here and I'm gonna hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go into our NURBS uh, Poly 1, yeah. 
and it's called nerves, but it's a polygon now, okay? And we're gonna go and look at the translate values. So I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate this guy. And then I'm gonna to go to the translate value in Y, and I'm gonna set that to six and hit enter. And as I do that, it will jump up one. And then I'll take the original one again, and I'll hit Control D once again to duplicate. And now I'm gonna go into the Y value and set that to 12 and jump that in. Now, you can already see if we zoom in here, you can see that we've got a braid going on here. Now, kind of depending on what you want to use it for, you would either make it thinner or thicker and so forth. You can decide to smooth it out or not. It's all up to you, but that is how that would look, right? So if you want to use this for a rope, for example, what you could do is drag select all of this. And let's see, we are gonna go to uh, mesh and combine. Let's go to edit, delete by type, history. Uh, modify freeze transformation if I can find it yeah there you go and what you can do here is hit control D to duplicate move that up until you have a slight overlap like this looks like we need to do one more like this yeah and what you can do is hit um, uh, shift D sorry yeah and extend that and that is basically how you would do it now of course you need to merge those vertices and clean everything up but this is the process okay so hopefully it was helpful hopefully it will be something you can use in your workflow if you like this video please hit that like button and if you don't want to miss out on future videos please subscribe and don't forget to check out my new Google Plus hangout group and I'll put the link below all right well, that's it guys for this video. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.